Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? More questions than answers. This may sound trite, but there is a measure of truth in it. There are some questions women want answered. However, in dealing with kingdom matters, God has answers to every question any human being can formulate. God is able. He is able to do exceeding abundantly above all we can ask according to the power that works in us. We know that there is resurrection power at work in our lives, our human lives. That makes obtaining answers from God somewhat within the range of human availability. Women want answers to pressing questions. Questions about domestic matters, job-related and personal matters. Most of all, they yearn for answers which cause a measure of fear to come into their hearts and affect their well-being spiritually and emotionally. Women want answers regarding infidelity. This seems to be very much on the agenda of marriage, even Christian marriages. When a girl or a woman stands before a minister to declare her vows of love and faithfulness before God and relatives and friends, a seemingly inexpressible secret fear grips her heart. Will he be faithful to me? Will he be faithful to the vows he has declared? She repeats the vows, but the thought is still there. I wish I could get the answer. She says, humanly speaking, there is no answer. But God, through the Holy Spirit, whispers, I am able. I am able to keep. Because the Word declares, He is before all things, and by Him all things consist. By Him all things are held together. Colossians 1 and 17. He is able and he will keep. He will keep the marriage together, but there are certain requirements both parties must commit themselves to. But a woman still needs answers. Women want answers concerning their health. The Christian woman believes God for healing health. But she needs answers why so many of her counterparts are plagued by breast cancer. What answers could one give? A woman needs to have these questions answered. Did she eat the right foods? Is the problem generic? These questions must be answered. Yet the word says, I am the Lord that healeth thee. There is a deep-rooted fear that makes questions unavoidable. But God says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Then there is a the question of death. Many believers paint it as a horrible experience. But the child of God holds fast to the word of God and declares, Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Are there answers to the question of death? Should we not leave this in his hands? I may be speaking to couples who want their marriage to work. But there are questions. God wants to hold all things together. He wants to hold your marriage together. The thief comes to steal, to kill, to destroy. That is the devil's modus operandi. But Jesus has come to give life. He can and will put life into your marriage. Believe him for it. This is Lloyd and Norma Hart. We believe God and he is keeping our marriage. Let's pray together. Our gracious Heavenly Father, we thank Thee, O Lord, for all the women, all the mothers who have listened in, who have tuned in to YouTube, to Facebook, and Lord, we thank You for every one of them. We pray, O God, for the many mothers who have listened in. Lord, we know that yesterday was Mother's Day, and we pray a blessing upon every mother. Lord, she has born children, and she needs help she needs help there was no university course to give her how to raise children but lord she did it to the best of her ability we pray a blessing upon her and we pray a blessing O oh god upon all women 
today. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray, O oh God, for every mother, and we ask your blessing upon them. In Jesus' name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Isn't she precious?